Welcome to Vintage Variety. Today we're going to do another vintage jewelry unbagging. I'm also going to talk a little bit about the sale and let you guys know that is going to be next week. I'm going through quite a few items to put in the sale. Who knows, I may even decide to put some of the items that I find in this bag today in the sale. So I'm going to pour this out and let's see what kind of good items we have in this bag. It's lucky to go back to the same thrift store, find another one of these bags. They don't do jewelry jars, they do bags. And so far I've been very lucky with these. So let's see what all we have in this one. I have a lovely ponytail girl necklace and this one's really nice. I don't see any markings on it, but I like the looks of that. Looks like at one time she probably had a little pearl or something right here. Another cameo pen. Let's put that over there. Also in black. Okay, so this is a memory wire bracelet. Faux pearls. This, so this is a gold tone choker with a fold over clasp. So far, so good. Faux pearls, they're knotted in between each pearl. These are nice. These are some really nice faux pearls. And there's the clasp on these. They're in really good condition and they're very long. So those are nice. I really like the clasp on those. You can tell they're good quality. They're not peeling or anything. This is another very long necklace. Has a lobster claw clasp. I like that color. It's kind of a it's kind of a coral color. You guys are gonna have to look over me. I've had a really busy work week, and I've also got permanent sharpie all over my hand and my nails. So I'm gonna have to use a little bit of uh, acetone to get that off of there. But that's nice, I really like this. I like how it looks tripled up on the form like that. That's cute. This is a really cute little turtle brooch. And it is signed MJ. A clothes and a bracelet. These bags, when I find them, when I'm able to find them at this thrift store, a lot of times they'll have these clothes and a bracelets in it. And these are quite collectible. They are vintage. And I think they're just beautiful. Another cameo necklace. I really like this one. I like the details on it. And it's a Coro. Wow. Isn't that pretty? A little scattered pin, and it's a poodle. I think this is adorable. Oh, this is pretty. The center is plastic. really pretty pen. Okay. So this guy needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I think that's BSK. What do you guys think? Let's zoom in on it. Maybe not. 
that BSK or is that best? So it can be worn as a brooch or a necklace pendant. I'm gonna try to clean this up and see what it looks like. This is just a gold tone bracelet. I can already tell this guy's marked. Another poodle pin. Let's see what the marking on this guy is. Avon. Okay, so this is different. What is this? Okay, so this is a really unusual necklace. I mean, it's pretty, it has a lot going on. Not sure how I feel about that. You guys can let me know what your opinion is, but I do feel like this, this necklace, I mean, it's an eye catcher. This is the pendant on it. It's well made, but again, it definitely seems to have a lot of different things going on here. I like this. A little whale. It's a cute little figural pen. Looks all happy. This is more of a fashion piece. I don't think it's all that vintage. I think it's meant to look vintage. It has the gunmetal colored chain. It's pretty. Here we have another piece. It's also done in that same color. This one's a mesh choker. see any markings on it. Like this, it has a nice weight to it. This is a gold tone brooch. A little angel scatter pin. Okay, this is nice. Triple this up on the form. These look like amethyst to me. And this is a very long chain. I think this is really pretty. Didn't think it had a clasp, but it does. I don't see any markings on that piece. You know what, guys? I own this exact bracelet. I purchased it in the late 1990s or it might have been around 2000, 2001. But I do own this exact bracelet and this is a Liz Claiborne. Let's see if I can get this open and we'll see if it has the LC mark in it. Sure does, there it is. I do own this exact bracelet. This one's in excellent condition. And this is a bracelet that I wear a lot during the summertime because I just think it looks so beautiful and summery. What a coincidence that I get the exact same bracelet in a jewelry bag, beautiful. Just look at all the detail in that. So that is a really good piece. A little turtle tie tack, is that what that is? Or is that a cuff link? That's a tie tack. Oh, I like this. Isn't that pretty? 
So that one for me is a keeper. Another floral pin. If you guys recall, in the last bag, I got this huge floral pin that looked like a daisy. I think I really like this one, though. I like the little polka dots on it. And this is just a faux gold chain. Be cute with some kind of pendant hanging on it. This is nice. Let's see if this one is marked anywhere. See any markings on this one, but this one's cute, isn't it? I like the way this looks. And these are mismatched earrings. Would you look at this? This thing is huge. How big that is. That is really over the top, isn't it? Probably about. I wear about a size eight, so this is probably about an eight and a half or a nine. Because I'm wearing it on this finger instead of my ring finger and I have really bad arthritis and it fits. So I'm gonna guess it's an eight and a half or a nine. This is another simple little gold tone chain. Oh, this is beautiful. This is Moon Glow. I like this. Look at this, guys. Is that not gorgeous? So this is definitely another keeper for me. This one is the last piece. It has the earrings to match it. Now you guys know I have a pretty weak spot for floral jewelry and especially the brooches. So I think this one is also a keeper. I look forward to seeing you all next Saturday. I will be doing my sale and a subscriber appreciation giveaway. This time I'm going to be doing two giveaways and I'll try to upload a preview for that sale midweek. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to share these items with me. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on more content about collecting vintage and antique items. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.